I'm here on an IT mission. And our approach to Africa today is to trade more with Africa. We have also increased today, uh, you know, our development partnership with Africa. For us, this is a broader, deeper partnership. World sees India as a contributor. World sees India, Indian companies, Indian technologies, Indian capacities as helping to create better lives for them. Today, we want to see Africa grow. Uh, we want to see African economies grow. And our approach to Africa today is to trade more with Africa, to invest in Africa, to work with Africa, to create capacities in Africa so that the rise of Africa also takes place as countries like India are rising uh, in Asia. And when in this matter, Prime Minister Narendra Modi has taken particular interest. Uh, in fact, after he became Prime Minister, uh, he decided that we should have a much deeper diplomatic presence in Africa. So he's approved that we establish 18 new embassies uh, here. So we are actually today uh, one of the countries which has the maximum number of uh, embassies uh, across African countries. Uh, but it isn't only in diplomats. We have also increased today, uh, you know, our development partnership with Africa. And the difference that we have brought is uh, uh, about five years ago, Prime Minister Modi speaking in the Ugandan parliament actually spoke about India's approach to Africa. And our approach was that what we would do in partnership with African countries uh, is something which would be as per the preference, as per the choice, as per the priorities of our partner. We are not here as an extractive economy. We are not here uh, in the manner in which uh, a lot of other countries are there for very narrow economic objectives. For us, this is a broader, deeper partnership. And that is something which I am here to demonstrate during my visit. Now, if you ask me in two words to describe what am I doing here, my two words is, I'm here on an IT mission. IT mission as in India, Tanzania. And that IT mission addresses, we today want to see Africa grow. Uh, we want to see African economies grow. And our approach to Africa today is to trade more with Africa, to invest in Africa, to work with Africa, to create capacities in Africa so that the rise of Africa also takes place as countries like India are rising uh, in Asia. And when in this matter, Prime Minister Narendra Modi has taken particular interest. Uh, in fact, after he became Prime Minister, uh, he decided that we should have a much deeper diplomatic presence in Africa. So he's approved that we establish 18 new embassies uh, here. So we are actually today uh, one of the countries which has the maximum number of uh, embassies uh, across African countries. Uh, but it isn't only in diplomats. We have also increased today, uh, you know, our development partnership with Africa. And the difference that we have brought is uh, uh, about five years ago, Prime Minister Modi speaking in the Ugandan parliament actually spoke about India's approach to Africa. And our approach was that what we would do in partnership with African countries uh, is something which would be as per the preference, as per the choice, as per the priorities of our partner. We are not here as an extractive economy. We are not here uh, in the manner in which uh, a lot of other countries are there for very narrow economic objectives. For us, this is a broader, deeper partnership. And that is something which I am here to demonstrate 
during my visit. Now, if you ask me in two words to describe what am I doing here, my two words is, I'm here on an IT mission. IT mission as in India, Tanzania. And that IT mission addresses, it is something as basic as water or something as important as health or something as, as really inspiring and relevant as computation, technology, and this time IT means information technology. In all these fields, in some form, our relationship, our partnership is coming into play. Now, there can be many other variations of it because uh, the uh, products which India is making, the services that India is providing today are being increasingly recognized. I mean, I was talking to you about health. I think probably in the next few months, we have committed to providing 10 ambulances uh, as an as a expression of friendship from India. But uh, on, a, on a sort of, I would say, not routine basis, but on a regular basis, today our buses, our trucks are used by the police force here. They're used by the defense forces here. Uh, and we have actually uh, uh, today uh, active discussion on what is it that India can do or a partnership with India can do uh, to, to help build a stronger relationship in this country, uh, to uh, meet the, uh, the uh, aspirations and the, uh, and the targets uh, of the uh, Tanzanian system. Now, I am speaking to you mainly of, uh, you know, goods or ser your services, but none of these work if you don't have the human resources to go with it. And here too, I must share with you a very good story that as I look across Africa, the largest capacity building and exchange program we have with any country in Africa is actually with Tanzania. That every year, I mean, this year, we are, we are offering, we are uh, we have, uh, giving to the uh, Tanzanian uh, government for their, uh, for their usage. 450 scholarships under the, what's called the ITEC program. This is our traditional exchange program. 230 slots for defense training. And under the education exchanges, 70 scholarships. So, uh, the, the point I make is, you know, it's one thing to speak about solidarity, to talk about friendship, to say we have a good relationship. I am sharing with you what we do in the government, what we do in the foreign ministry. But how do I express this friendship in very practical terms, in very relevant terms, in a way in which the country in which all of you live in, that country can say, okay, these are measurable metrics. This is really what the friendship of India today means.